There are lots of things people waste money on. Fortunately, it's easy to not waste money. Oftentimes, wastefulness occurs simply due to a lack of awareness. Once there is awareness, steps can be taken to minimize or outright avoid the wasteful spending. Compiling a list of things people waste money on would take an endless number of hours because the list is almost infinite. So, we'll start with 16 to get started. 1. Interest from credit card debt. Leading off the list of things people waste money on is interest from credit card debt. Paying interest on a credit card bill is throwing away money to the creditor. It's also paying for purchases of the past, which can be as recent as last month or as far back as years ago. The interest never stops until the bill is paid in full. Here's an example. A computer purchased on a credit card for $1,200 can take years to pay off if only paying the minimum. Assuming the interest rate is somewhere between 12 to 20 percent, the final price of the computer can easily be double or more of the original purchase cost, so 2400 USD or more. 2. Credit card late fees. Second on the list of things people waste money on piggybacks off the first credit card fees. Not quite as harmful as the interest on a high balance credit card, but harmful nonetheless. If you have to pay the bill anyway, you might as well pay it on time. Even paying a day or two late can come with late fees between $30 and $50. There's no rhyme or reason to pay these fees when the bill has to be paid anyway. 3. Playing the lottery. The chances of winning the lottery are not good. Scratch that the odds are almost impossible. I've heard the argument that someone has to win might as well be me. While it is true that people do win the lottery, the chances are about as impossible as you can get. The odds of picking the correct number 1 through 65 times in a row is beyond a long shot. If you don't believe me, try this with a friend. Pick a number between 1 and 60, then ask your friend to guess it. If they guess it right, pick another number between 1 and 60 and ask them to guess it correctly. 4. Lunch and eating out. How many times have you seen or experienced this? Busy at work and lunch isn't packed. So, a quick trip is made to grab lunch somewhere before hustling back to the job site. Lunch is wolfed down before swiftly returning to work for the rest of the day. In this scenario, which is all too common, lunch really isn't enjoyed. A premium was paid for the convenience of a quick meal in between working. It would have been just as easy to pack lunch the night before instead of running out and grabbing lunch. As a side note, business lunches with colleagues or prospects are a different entity. Those lunches have an upside and are part of growing the business you are in. 5. Convenience stores. Convenience stores are in business because they are convenient, and there's nothing wrong with that. The convenience just comes at a premium. In general, the more you're able to plan and buy things in advance, the better off you'll be. For example, buying snacks at the grocery store and bringing them with you to work or on a day outing is much more cost effective than stopping at the convenience store when you want a snack or drink. A large pack of pretzels might be three to four dollars at the store, while a small bag at the Quick Mart will probably cost two to three dollars a bag. These savings aren't going to make anyone rich overnight, but it's a really easy way to save money and avoid wasteful spending. 6. Dinner Takeout The scene is familiar. Tired from a long day of work and don't feel like cooking, stop at a local restaurant and order some takeout. There is nothing inherently wrong about paying for this convenience now and then, but done at a high frequency, it becomes a waste of money. There are steps that can be taken to minimize the need to order takeout on a regular basis. For example, make leftovers, cook multiple pieces of chicken at the start of the week, and use it for easy meals, meal plan. With minimal effort and intentionality, it's easy to avoid getting takeout on a consistent basis. 7. Checking account fees. Number 7 on the list of things people waste money on is one of the easiest of all to avoid checking account fees. There are various reasons why banks charge checking account fees. These are some of the most common ones. Paper statements, not having minimum balance in account, not enrolled in direct deposit. If you are paying checking account fees, contact your bank to find out how you can drop these fees. 
Oftentimes, it is really easy, like eliminating paper statements or enrolling in direct deposit, which can take as little as 5 to 10 minutes to completely eliminate the fees. 8. Buying things on sale because they are on sale. It's great to get things on sale when you need them. The key is that you actually need the item. Too many people buy things on sale simply because they are on sale. When you already have enough pairs of shorts and buy another on sale for $35 instead of $50, it's not a savings of $15. It's actually an unnecessary expenditure of $35. Or a $35 shirt on sale for $25 that you don't need isn't a savings of $10, it's $25 unnecessarily spent. 9. Comparable Hotels this is a really easy way to waste money without knowing it's spending more on comparable hotels. The next time you're looking to stay in a hotel for the night, scroll through the hotel listings on the sites. What you'll notice is many of the hotels are very comparable but priced very differently. For example, a three-star hotel with ratings of 8 plus is priced at $90 per night, while another three-star hotel with 8 plus ratings in the same area of town is priced at $120 per night. Almost identical hotels, but one is priced $30 more per night. It's fine to pay more for a hotel you like and value that provides a unique experience. But more often than not, it's easy to find comparable hotels at lower prices with minimal effort. 10. Car Financing Many people finance cars without thinking twice about it. I was one of those people and wasted a lot of money. There's an assumption in our culture that cars should be financed, and that's the end of the story. The truth, though, is that financing cars adds an unnecessary expense on top of an already expensive purchase. For example, a $20,000 car, after taxes and registration, that is paid for in cash costs $20,000. But a $20,000 car financed with $2,000 down leaves $18,000 left to be financed. At 4.5% interest over a five-year period, that's $2,134 in interest alone. So, the $20,000 car actually costs $22,134. 11. Too much food. Number 11 on the list of things people waste money on is buying too much food. There's nothing wrong with buying a lot of food if it can be stored, but where people run into trouble is too much food and having to throw it away. This is especially applicable to milk produce and meats. It's easy to buy too much because there might be a good sale where it seems to make sense to buy more than normal. But when you have to end up throwing away half of what you bought, it becomes a waste of money. 12. The Latest Technology Technology moves super fast. It's almost impossible to always have the most updated and best technology. Phones, computers, tablets, it seems like six months later, there is a newer and better technology. Trying to chase technology is in large part wasteful. Unless you absolutely need to have the most current version, it's better to buy new technology as needed and keep it until it's no longer useful. For example, I use my computer mostly for writing books and blogging. Modern technology is needed to update my website, but I don't need the absolute newest technology. I can get away with buying a new computer every few years. There's not a need for a new one every six months to keep up. 13. Not shopping around for services. I totally get this next one on the list. It's easy to go with the first company you reach out to because there's less effort involved. The company has already corresponded with you, and all you have to do is say yes. However, it pays to take the time to comparison shop, especially for big ticket items. A few examples where it really pays off. A car issue where the original bid was $1,900, and the second and third bids were $500 less. Water heater where installation from the second company is $300 less than the original bid. New roof where the bids are thousands apart for the same quality. In all three of these examples, it really pays to get multiple bids. Spending a couple hours extra to get extra bids and save thousands is well worth the time investment. I think of it like this. If I save $1,500 by spending two extra hours on getting extra bids, I just made $750 for my time and effort. And that's a lot of money saved with little effort. 14. Retail Therapy 
Next on the list of things people waste money on is a made-up term, retail therapy. I'm not sure exactly who made this up, probably the store so people would find an excuse to spend money. I'm not a psychologist, but spending money to feel better probably isn't something that is going to work long term. Sure, it feels good at the time, but then the bill comes due. And then it doesn't feel good, completely defeating the original purpose of the purchase. If you're feeling like spending money to feel good, take a pause and think about whether it will really make you feel better or if there are better alternatives. 15. Minor Conveniences I'm all for spending money for conveniences. For example, just the other day, I went to a concert with my wife and some friends. The two best ways to get there were by trolley or by taking a rideshare service like Uber or Lyft. The trolley would have been about $20 less, but taking a car saved almost an hour plus, we got to the venue early with plenty of time to spare. It was a convenience that was well worth the extra money. Where it doesn't make sense is for minor conveniences, such as buying lunch out when it can be made at home in under 5 minutes, purchasing pre-cut fruit from the store when it takes less than a couple minutes to cut your own, making several trips per month to convenience stores when those items easily could have been bought in bulk with a minimal amount of planning. These minor conveniences often come with a relatively high price tag. For example, buying lunch out can cost $10 to $15 more than making your own lunch. Not such a big deal one time, but over the course of the week that adds up to over $50. And for the month, over $200. So, for items of convenience, make sure the cost is truly worth it. If it's worth it, take the convenience. But if it's a minor convenience, think about the alternatives. 16. Comparison spending, keeping up with the Joneses. Last, but not least on the list of things people waste money on, is comparison spending. When I use the term comparison spending, I'm referring to spending to keep up with other people. Like buying a new car because the neighbors just bought one or buying an expensive suit because a coworker just bought one. Otherwise known as keeping up with the Joneses, spending money to keep up with others is an unwinnable position. There will always be people making more than you or spending more than you. Chasing that rabbit is an exercise in futility. One of my solutions to avoid keeping up with the Joneses is to practice value-based spending, a principle I live by with great intentionality. With value-based spending, I spend on necessities and things I really value. It doesn't matter what others are doing or who just bought what. Value-based spending keeps me out of comparison mode and keeps the focus on what's best for me and my family. Conclusion Life costs money, and there are plenty of great things we can spend our money on that we value like travel, investing, an emergency fund, a house that we enjoy, etc. So, it's important to weed out the wasteful spending. Not only to avoid wasting money, but to also have money available for the important things. Cutting out the wasteful spending is a great first step to ensure there is money for those important things.